Today we'll be building this altimeter. It uses three stepper motors right here and a 10 turn potentiometer for the Coastman window. Hope I'm saying that right. I do apologize if this video is a little snarky. I know you're all gonna love all of the sarcasm. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to launch this uh, altimeter and hopefully you'll stick along for the next one when we configure it. For this build, you'll need all of these 3D printed parts these panel mounting screws that are this imperial size that is terrible, but it's realistic. So realistically terrible is good. This M3 hardware, it's all right here or in the readme file. There's also these three stepper motors, BYJ48s, and their drivers and their many wires. You'll also need a 10 turn potentiometer. It's cool because it has like 10 rotations. You can turn it like 10 times. You'll also need a drill if you're impatient, some disposable income, and some time. Some time with it. That's the, really these are the ingredients to a simulator. Some parts, and you don't need a lot. This'll do maybe. You need time, money, and power tools. You also need an acrylic bezel. All right, starting off with the faceplate. With this faceplate, we have this gear piece right here, and it turns right there. It's like a, a Beyblade. It's pretty fun. Now with this, uh, you actually have to put a decal on both of these pieces. So I'll go print that because I'm a stupid idiot and didn't print it, print it before. You'll also need a decal. All right. Do I want to turn on carrot browsing? Do you think I'm a freaking rabbit? It's printing right now. Now this label, you peel off like a, like a sticker because it is and you hold it up to the light. Woo! Like this, this is the light right here. You have your thing, the hole is right here, the big hole, the little holes are right here. Hold up to the light, <laughs> hold, hold, hold. <laughs> and align these dots with this dot. But yeah, you'll see like all of the lines line up and the holes hole up, whatever the saying is and cut it with some scissors. Or if you have like a cool dagger your father gave you in the 1700s, uh, you have a really old dad and you can use that. Or a letter opener, something like, if you have anything cooler than scissors, you can use those too. That's what I'm trying to say. The sky is the limit. I guess the ground is the limit here because we're building a flight simulator, but you know, ta-da. Oh, you can't see it, <laughs> silly me. Now you have this. That a dagger would be really cool for. Just poke a hole in the center. Uh, carefully poke a hole here because it won't be covered up. Now this piece comes into play. And this you would cover up with a decal, but my decal just left the chat. Oh, and it's also on the ground. Why did I put it on the ground? And you'll see, hey, what? why is this like, why is it too big? That's so that you can align it, you know? Don't stare into the light, that will blind you. This is how I became colorblind, staring into lights. No, actually it's quite the opposite. I never experienced true light. All of the colors you see, I don't see. That should make you feel bad. The rods and cones in my eyes were transferred to your eyes at a very young age. You should feel bad about that. Now the stabby thing goes in the stabby thing. And you'll see right here, it looks like uh, it has feet, which is not what we want. I'll just sharpie that for now. So now we have our tens of thousands of feet. So yay, we can go up to exactly 10,000 feet. That's nothing. That's pathetic. Okay, now we do the stabby thing again. This time a little more careful because more will be showing. You're going to want to like play around with it to make sure that each thing can move individually. You might even consider like uh, carving out all of the extra stuff. Just be careful to ma not make it look absolutely horrendous because your altimeter will look like this forever. Like the stakes are high. Now on the faceplate, you have all of these needles telescoping like a freaking telescope. And now you have this number card right here. So line it up, hold it up to the light. I won't show you because I'm sick of my footage becoming all grainy and crappy. 
But uh, yeah, that looks centered. Ta-da! Cut it out from the back or the front. I don't really care. Ew, it has a hair in it. Don't you hate when that happens? When you're like, get a piece of tape and there's hair stuck in it. And you're like, what the heck? Why is this even happening? Like, why is there a hair there? That is gross. That's disgusting. Probably happened when I put it on the floor. Yeah. Filming this, always, I always present myself in a way that makes it look like I'm a person who has everything all together. But I'm not. So, not always. Today has been a weird day. I had my Diffy Q test tomorrow, or yesterday. See, like, something like that. I said yesterday, or tomorrow, or messed it up, you know? But... Something exciting is I don't have another Diffy Q test uh, for the rest of my life. I won't ever have a math test like ever again. This is the last one unless I go on to be a math major, which I don't think is a good idea because math is actually evil. We might want to clean up our altimeter setting window and the fact that it's completely ugly. That doesn't help. Yeah, using your, like, grandfather's dagger would be way cooler than this, but we can't win them all. The decal isn't very aligned because I changed the positioning of this window uh, in my CAD model since I printed either the decal or the uh, this faceplate. So I'll show you what it looks like in CAD, what it's supposed to look like, confirm it actually will look like that before the end of the video, and we'll be good to go. Let's move on. The best thing to do in most situations now we have this bezel right here we have a piece of acrylic glass that i cut i you can buy a set of these from my website this i call the seal it's mimicking a real like rubber seal you can find on actual airplane instruments but uh it's made out of pla so you don't have to buy rubber manufacturing capabilities Woohoo! now we have a hole right here stab at the hole and you have this thing right here, this piece, you put it through that hole, put it through that hole, make sure to put all your gears in, and voila. Now you have your altimeter face, the second ugliest face in the room. You don't want to know what the first one is. Now you can see that the numbers change whenever you change them, and these should rotate uh, independently. Now we have these gears. There's one with a big hole. The big hole goes right here on first. And that rotates the 10,000 feet right here. The slightly smaller hole goes on the sm slightly smaller uh, needle thing. Make sure to calibrate your printer so that 20 millimeters is actually 20 millimeters, you know? If it's not, then my model will be off because your printer is off. Just as a general tip, uh, especially if, if you're just assembling one, if you have, if it's too loose, add glue, if it's too tight, sand it off. I don't know, that sounds obvious, but whatever. <sighs> Everyone's just gonna complain about how sucky this tutorial is, and I'll be like, yeah, it's sucky. Suck it. You know what? You make the YouTube videos. You spend hours of your life designing Okay, so we have the front part assembled. Ta-da! Now, let's move this off to the side and get the back part assembled. This is where you need the drill and, or the time, and a screwdriver. Pick your combo. Also, what's with all the hardware in the background? That's just crappy. No effort November in April. Okay, you really do actually have to edit this because you've said a lot of offensive jokes. Like, really offensive. These screws just tap into the plastic. You might need to take your time. Stop and smell the roses. When's the last time you smelled a rose? Like, really, when? We all, like, say we're, like, oh, taking time for ourselves. But, like, when have you gone outside and said, wow, this is a beautiful day? It's freaking beautiful outside. But I'm inside here complaining about how beautiful it is outside. I don't know. Maybe I'll take a walk. I want it just to all be easy, but it's so hard to make everything easy, you know? Like, 
Also, sometimes the easy things in life aren't the things we value, like watching Netflix. I don't think that matters. Like, I'm on season seven of The Office, but I don't put that on my resume. Like, it helps, but it doesn't, it's not like, on my deathbed, I won't be like, wow, I watched seven seasons of The Office. I will be like, wow, I stopped and smelled three roses. Actually, I think I have stopped and smelled the roses in a way. I gotta show you real quick. Okay, so. Ignore the food. Uh, okay, here is my box of shame. All of these are bristles that came off of the snow plows, and I go around campus and I pick them up and put them in here. This is actually concerning. I put them in my backpack. More food. Yeah, I, I'm like a freaking hoarder. And I have all of these bristles, and I just go around campus picking them up. I don't know what I do with them. Here's my collection. Oh, I have... Oh, lead for the protractor. Let's go. This is my hobby. This is the only thing I have. I pick up sticks in the ground. Okay, let's go back. Here are the steppers. They should just line up because I designed them that way. And now we have a few pieces we can add to this. We have this piece. That you're gonna be like, whoa, what's that? Wow, it's bigger than most potentiometers. And you would be like, wow, that's so cool, Trevor. And so you screw on the 10 turn potentiometer here. And then you'll have to get a little wrench or some pliers. Or if you're just ripped, you could probably hand tighten it. But I, sometimes I skip the climbing wall because I don't know, I'm just, you know, you're like, it's not that you don't want to go. It's that like, I don't know, it's just like flake out. You like feel like you're too busy, but you're always too busy. That's, that's just the truth. Okay. So now you put on this thing, uh, something important is that the alignment of this matters but something not important is us figuring that out right now let's go let's just turn this all the way anti-clockwise turn it all the way left uh put our thing on and this thing unless it's screwed in it won't affect the position like very much like it slips so once we put the screws in, that'll nail in the position. So push this in and just kind of connect it in. So there's a coupler right here. Put this right here. I know I just say that. It's like we have these habits of saying stuff. Like my Diffy Q teacher, he's just like, put this guy into this guy, differentiate this guy. And I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. I'm pretty sure that's what you're feeling, so I'm sorry. But put these two guys onto these two guys. So yeah, these are the uh, stepper gears. You just need to print two of them. And then this is the coupler. And it might be easier to do this without the bezel, so you can thump it in with your thumb. Do you ever feel like you're just like, I don't want to do anything in the world? <laughs> that's kind of how I feel right now. I'm not going to lie. Ah, okay, so press it down, and then make sure that the gears are separated. Like, now you just need, the name of the game is making sure that when you turn one motor, not all of them turn. So, like, this one isn't even grabbing onto this. So, it needs to do better. You need to do better. I'm sorry. Make sure they mesh, push them down. I know usually pushing them down is a mean thing, but this one, this time it's uh, just making sure they fulfill their life purpose. So I, I would say that's actually a beneficial thing to push them. What are they doing next door? I don't want to know. Now you can test this by making sure that the hand moves when you uh, rotate the motor. Now you have the construction of the altimeter complete. You can put some screws through here, uh, here, and here, and oh, apparently there. And that'll just tighten it all down together. 
So there we have it, a functioning altimeter. Stick around for the next video when we set it up with the software. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much to Altimeter Motives, who makes these flat screen panel overlays. You can check them out in the description below. Thank you so much to all of the patrons who help fund the development of projects like this. And this. <laughs> and thank you so much to you for watching. Have a fantabulous rest of your day, and stay spicy. I gotta update you on the sticks. There are quite a bit more.